Stairs to Welcome back. Why Here we go. Why would anybody hide stairs inside a wardrobe? It is a weird place. It does not look abandoned to me. Someone was here recently. Were they humans? What is it? indicates that somebody cooked food here recently. I estimate it was less than 24 hours ago. It appears someone was sick and medical care was dispensed. I read that humans had very efficient abilities to regenerate and heal, but they heavily relied on drugs to assist in this process. Preserved food. If it is not damaged, its vacuum sealed contents can be nutritious for decades. This particular canned food has a short expiration date. and the plumbing here works fine. A food cooking station. Based on the amount of dirty dishes left behind, it appears that humans stayed here for a long time. Apparently, they ran out of doors. F2, I could not contact you, and I moved everyone to another place. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am RT217NP. And you? TR2-5201. Fletcher, how did you find this place? F2 was supposed to bring us some important data, but we lost contact. He was probably exposed. I have been instructed to find the data. Is F2 arrested? How did they figure him out? How did you find out about this place? We don't know what happened to F2. I entered his apartment and read the message on the intercom. The message mentioned the core, and we supposed it was this bar. That means the police knows about this place as well. I suppose no one saw the message but me. I deleted it after reading. So we are on the same side and you help humans? How many of you are there? That is correct. There are five of us. I thought we were the only ones who know the truth. Nobody knows the whole truth. But you are not the only ones helping humans. We need to join forces. How many humans did you say? None. The humans that we were supposed to meet died in a shuttle crash during the transfer. I am sorry. We must join as soon as possible and transfer all humans into a safe place in order to avoid such accidents in the future. I agree. What should we do? F2 provided me some important information, which he apparently was going to give you as well. I need to meet your leader. Is that your aero car outside? Yes. You need to see Gregory. I can take you to our shelter.
Very cool. How many are in your group? Seven humans, five adults, and two children. Where are they now? They are in a shelter in the city. We move constantly to avoid detection. USS found our other two shelters. But thanks to F2, we escaped before the police arrived. Do you know anything about other groups of humans? We know that there are several isolated groups. We need to contact them. Otherwise, they will be tracked down sooner or later. I saw a police officer seizing a human in a supermarket today. Fortunately, I could interfere and save him. He should bring his group in an appointed place this evening. We have to act secretly, because there are just a few robots who know the truth, and they are all wanted by the police. We must ensure their security. It is hard to hide a group of humans and supply it with whatever is required. We cannot bring them all here, because it is easy to locate a building full of humans. RT told me that F2 turned over some data to you. Can it help us? Exactly. While working with the police archives, F2 discovered information about an abandoned underground research lab. It has been shut down since the humans left. It is a perfect shelter. We could accommodate everyone there, even the ones we have yet to find. Police would not search for the place because it is outside of the city limits. Is it safe to trust the information from the police archives? Yes, it was not of interest to the USS and has not been analyzed. F2 deleted the data after he copied it, so no one will ever know about it. That is great news. We need the coordinates and then we can start preparing the lab for humans. There are two issues. First, the exact coordinates are unknown. Because there are jamming devices in the woods, we must first track them down and disable them. Second, we do not know what is in the lab. We must check it for safety and then restore the power and water supply. I see. You did very well, RT. I think you can solve these problems and prepare the lab. I need you to do your best because human lives depend on it. Good. Where do I begin? First, search the location for jamming devices. We do not know how they look and how hard it is to disable them. There is no signal there, so you can count only on yourself. After you disable the jammers, we will determine the exact coordinates of the lab by its energy signature. RT, use an arrow car to disable the jammers as soon as you can and take control of the lab. Fletcher and I will coordinate the transfer. We have 18 hours left. Charge yourself and go. The lab must be ready by this evening. Copy that. Heading out. Wonder if they're gonna give me time to charge.
Uh oh. Interesting. Car took a beating. This drone has almost destroyed me. This must have been a very outdated model. Because if it were a modern police drone, my chances of survival against it without any weapon would be minimal. that gamekeepers used to live in similar buildings where they controlled hunting and protected wild animals. It is a good place to hide a jamming device. Let's see. Locked. I need to look for an alternative entrance. Okie doke. Why was this aero car abandoned in the woods? It is quite difficult to walk to the city from here. This armored cable powers the jammer. It is too solid and cannot be unplugged. I will try to hack the program and disable the device. Sweet. Let's be a hacker. Use the space key and delete only the red dots.
now that this device is deactivated, all that is left to do is to find and deactivate the second one. Need to return to the arrow car. Okay. Do 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 do. Guess we're gonna be flying again. I wasn't expected to do that. We go. Okay, let's do it again. Got it. The second jamming device is deactivated. Now we can figure out the location of the laboratory. I need to contact Nick. RT, do you copy? Nick, I can hear you. After I disabled the second jammer, the communication has been re-established. That is great. You were silent for a long time. Is everything all right? Yes, it is. Despite the guide drones who tried to destroy me, their lack of mobility can probably be explained by old-fashioned technology. We didn't know about any security drones. Be careful. Can we locate the lab now? Yes, we can locate any electronics within 10 kilometers. I can see your own signal, the aero car, two jammers. Got it. 
A huge object to the northwest from you must be the lab. I am forwarding you the coordinates. Find a way to get inside. Copy that. I've arrived at the destination, but there's nothing here. I need to look around. Oh, there's something here. In the past, humans often used wood as a building material. It is a renewable resource, but humans used it unwisely. What is it? A person. He only had a plastic keycard. Maybe I can get into the laboratory with it. Let's see. The key card fits the slot, but nothing happens. Evidently, the panel is no longer powered. I need to ask Nick for help. Hello, Nick. I seem to have found the entrance. I have a key card, but the access panel is disabled, so I cannot come in. The lab has probably been de-energized after the shutdown, but there must be a way to activate the panel manually. There is a detector in your intercom which allows you to find energy hubs. Just turn it on. Try to determine where the electric channels go, and that is how you can find a way to restore the power supply. Let me try. Yes, you are correct. I can see an energy channel going underground. Thank you for the information. I need to check the branches of the energy channel.
The laboratory is definitely somewhere nearby. Otherwise, where would these containers that appear in the woods come from? In the past, humans often used wood as a building material. The access panel is active now. Dude, pretty cool. All right, we're going to stop here. See you in the next one. Bye.